Welcome back, Air Gunners. We are here with the FX Dreamline in 22 caliber. I started out with the light version, but I went ahead and added a tactical conversion kit. I just really love the looks, and with the foldable stock, it just makes transportation that much easier. Now, the FX Dreamline light is going to set you back about $1,100, and then expect to pay about $125 for the tactical conversion kit. This does not include the AR-15 buttstock that you see here. FX believes that if you're into air guns, you're probably also into fire, firearms and that you may have an AR-15 buttstock laying around that you can add to the kit. And this helps to bring down the cost. If you don't have one, you can always go on Amazon or any other retailer that sells these pieces and parts and pick up an AR-15 stock that you can add. And it gives you the ability to also customize it for your own personal needs. As I mentioned before, this kit is more aesthetic for me than it is uh, purposeful. I just love the look of this. And then that folding stock just makes it so much easier to transport in a smaller carrying bag. Uh, and you know, how can you not like the look of this air gun? So if you haven't yet, and you're thinking about buying the conversion kit, take a quick look at the video that I did takes about less than 10 minutes to really do this conversion from uh, Dreamline Lite to Dreamline TAC. Uh, you can click the link above up here and you're gonna be able to watch that process right in front of you and see how just how easy it is. So beyond the conversion kit though, there are lots of features on this air gun that you're not gonna find on lesser air rifles. The first and foremost that I want to mention is this trigger. This is a two-stage match trigger. FX is well known for the mechanical triggers that they provide on all of their air guns. Very crisp, very clean. You can adjust the first stage and the second stage and really is meant for target shooting. Um, FX has also brought with this rifle their amp regulator. Now, the amp regulator is adjustable externally. If I flip it up here, and you can't see it here because it's covered by my bipod, but there is a uh, Allen screw in there that you can adjust that regulator. And you're going to want to turn that counterclockwise if you want the regulator pressure to go up. And then you're also going to turn it clockwise to turn that regu regulator pressure down. Now, something to know, if you are turning the regulator pressure down, you're going to want to take a shot or dry fire shot about every quarter of a turn just to relieve some of that pressure and to make sure you're not going to hurt the regulator. There's a great video that was done by Ernest Rowe and I'm going to add a link to it down below in the description. That way you can see what I was using uh, as I was tuning and adjusting my air rifle. Now before you do any of that though I do encourage you to try shooting the FX Dreamline without making any adjustments because right out of the box it is a very good air gun and should provide you lots of fun without messing with the intricate details of adjustment just when you first get it. Hey guys, if you are enjoying this content, if you are gaining value from this content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button and ring the bell. And don't forget to look for my content in other places too, including Air Gun Hobbyist Magazine and on Instagram where you can find me at airgun underscore advisor. Of course, it comes with a smooth twist barrel, and this smooth twist barrel is uh, swappable for other calibers. Uh, you know, you can go 177, 22, 25, and even 30 caliber now. Um, so it is a good option to be able to switch and swap and make this gun exactly what you want it to do. And then you can change it in the future to meet other needs. Also, the uh, hammer spring is adjustable you're going to notice there's a knob on the back here that you can adjust it there and then also the port on the air rifle is adjustable here i encourage you i went ahead even though this is 22 you're going to notice mine is set at 25 slash 30 just open it all the way so there's no restriction there and then you can really focus on what you're doing with the hammer spring here and you know, if you're adjusting this air gun, it's a good opportunity too. If you are unfamiliar with tuning process, this could be a good opportunity for you. Now, again, like I said earlier, I suggest you start by shooting it just the way it comes. But 
It can also help you to learn some of the intricacies of air guns and how hammer spring tension changes the way your shot cycle goes and the amount of speed and the feet per second that your pellet travels. So just a good learning opportunity. Um, be ready to be a little frustrated if you go down that road though because you're going to, it's going to be a process that takes some time to do. Uh, this has a cylinder 220 cc cylinder. FX does provide other cylinders that are larger. This happens to be the cylinder for the compact model. Uh, also, one of the smoothest cocking levers in the market, uh, as far as mechanical cocking levers go, it is just really smooth and easy, uh, exactly what you would expect from a gun, uh, an air gun in this price point. Also, you probably noticed it has an 18 shot uh, magazine that this one has, it is a side shot magazine. And that's 18 shots in 22 caliber. So that's going to get you plenty of shots out there on the range. So you're not loading every, uh, every couple of minutes. Because this is adjustable, I went ahead and performed two different tests using the JSB 25.89 grade pellets for some chronograph work. Um, and I wanted to adjust the regulator to some different testing. And you'll notice on the side here, you've got two gauges, this one being the regulator gauge and this one being your air pressure in the cylinder. The first one I did was at 120 bar. And at 120 bar, excuse me, I was getting about 25 shots at 795 feet per second or 22 foot pounds of energy using those pellets that I mentioned earlier with a standard deviation of eight feet per second and an extreme spread of 37 feet per second. The second test I did, I cranked that regulator up to about 140 bar and of course, with that, you're gonna get uh, greater speed and greater energy. And surprisingly, my shot count went up. It went to 30 shots at 805 feet per second or approximately 36 foot pounds of energy with about the same standard deviation with 14 feet per second and an extreme spread of 40 feet per second. So you're gonna notice that, you know, you're gonna be able to tune this thing. You're gonna get different results based on hammer spring uh, your port configuration and so forth. So I encourage you, if you're going to get this gun, you're going to go through the turning processes to try a lot of different things. Take your time. It's not something that's going to happen in five minutes. So at this point in time, I've probably gone through about one and a half, maybe two tins of pellets. Uh, I really feel the regulator is still breaking in. And with that breaking in period, you're going to find a little more consistency over time. But really, uh, this is a... Um, a great gun out of the box. Uh, just so you know, a side note, FX, when I was talking to them, states that they've had the best luck with the 15.89 grain pellets for accuracy rise and shooting at about 820 feet per second. So if you're kind of just starting out, that's a great uh, number to try to aim for, for accuracy, and just to get the most out of this in 22 caliber. So with all that out of the way, guys, you know that I was dying to get this to the range. And this time of year is hard to come by between rain, snow, cold weather. And now I'm stuck in the house with quarantine. But I did manage to get out there. I found a nice day, albeit just a little breezy for my taste for testing. But you know what? I went anyway. And knowing the pedigree of the FX line, I didn't even mess around with shorter distances. I went straight out to 50 yards, dialed in the scope, and without much effort, I was shooting groups at 50 yards, and this is without much effort, under a quarter. So again, think about quarters out there at 50 yards and just being able to pluck those away one after another. And that's the kind of accuracy I was getting with this air rifle, and this was at that lower velocity setting, the lower regulator setting. So knowing that I could do that, it was time for me to really step back, get things really solidly in there and go for gold. I wanted to see what kind of consistency I could really get when I was really working hard at it. And yeah, it was smaller than a quarter, guys. I want you to do, if, if you have some change rattling around in your pocket, get out a penny because that penny is what I was able to do at 50 yards for five shot groups. And it wasn't one miraculous group out there that I was hitting. This was a fairly consistent time after time type of thing that I was able to get five shots in under a penny. And so, you know, with the FX brand, there's definitely no issue with accuracy here, all right? 
So, you know, with all of that going for it, this rifle, you would think that this would be a said and done type of thing, but FX is now going and adding pieces and parts over time. You probably heard at SHOT Show that they are now adding the power plenum to this air rifle. And it's a, about $30 part that you can add on uh, right here after the regulator and it just screws in. That's going to allow you to increase the amount of velocity and foot pounds of energy that you can get out of your Dreamline. So FX is continuing to develop this product and allowing us, the consumer, to benefit from that. If you were to add the power plenum, of course, you're going to get increased energy, but what kind? They say approximately 25 foot pounds topping out in 177, up to 45 foot pounds of energy in 22, 65 foot pounds of energy in 25, and all the way up to 85 foot pounds of energy in 30 caliber. That's crazy, man. With all of that said, this is an excellent, excellent purchase if you're trying to think of an air gun that you want to add to the stable, especially in this time where we are kind of stuck, you know, are looking for things to do around the house. And awesome for, great job for hunting, plinking. And I even believe I heard a couple guys at FX saying that this may be even a good bench rest rifle uh, this year with the added addition of that power plenum. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you click on that conversion kit. I'm gonna put another link right up there so you can watch it. And as FX keeps developing the dream line, who knows what they're gonna dream up, guys. So until next time, make sure your pellets fly straight and your trigger pull stays smooth. And we're gonna see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.